Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this grade 11 chemistry tutorial, I'm going to be going over three simple steps to help you solve any basic stoichiometry question. So here's the problem we're going to work with. How much copper one chloride can be produced beginning with 75 grams of copper one oxide? So here's our reaction. We have copper one oxide mixing with hydrogen chloride, giving us copper one chloride and water. Now it's saying we have initially 75 grams of copper one oxide and we want to know how much copper one chloride will be produced. So step one, what you're going to do is take the known mass and convert it into number of moles. To do that, here's your equation. So the number of moles of copper one oxide equals its mass divided by its molar mass. So its mass is given as 75.0 grams. Now the molar mass, you're going to have to look at your elements on your periodic table and add up all of their mass numbers. So first for copper, we have two copper atoms, each with a mass number or molar mass of 63.5 grams per mole. And then we have one oxygen atom with a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. All right, when we put that into our calculator, we get a total of 0 0.524 moles of copper one oxide. So there's step one. Step two, we want to use the mole ratios to figure out the number of moles of copper chloride from the number of moles of copper oxide. So we're going from moles to moles. So for our moles ratio, we're going to look at the coefficients in front of those chemicals. So this is essentially a one, but we don't write that. And so our ratio is a one to two ratio. The ratio is also the number of moles of copper oxide, which we calculated to be 0 0.524, to the number of moles of copper chloride, which we don't know. Let's call that X. So now to compare these two ratios, because I know they're the same, I'll write them as a fraction. So 1 to 2 is just 1 over 2. And that's going to equal 0.524 all over x. And we have to rearrange this to solve for x. So you can cross multiply like so. And we'll get x equal to 2 times 0 0.524 and that's moles, and we get 1.05 moles, and that'll be the number of moles of copper chloride. So now that we know how many moles of copper chloride we have, our final step will be to go from the number of moles into mass. And we're going to use the same formula we did from step one. We're just simply going to rearrange it to give mass as the number of moles times by molar mass. So the number of moles m is 1.05. And our molar mass, just as we did in step one for copper oxide, we are going to do in step three for copper chloride. So multiplying it by, so we have one copper, which is 63.5 grams per mole, which we get from our periodic table, plus one chloride or chlorine which is 35.5 grams per mole so when we punch that into our calculators we get a mass of 104 grams i hope this video helped if it did leave a like and if there's any other chemistry tutorials or physics math that you would like to see let me know in the comments